Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. So today I want to do some first impressions and very first sniffs of some new perfumes. So I have accumulated some new release perfume samples here. I haven't tried them before, so I'll just give my quick thoughts on these ones. I don't know anything about them. I don't know any of the notes either, but yeah, I'm very curious about these fragrances here. Now let's go into these perfumes here. The first one that I want to smell is Aqua Allegoria uh, Rosa Rosa Forte. So this perfume, like the, the original Rosa Rosa, I haven't tried. They made Forte versions of two Aqua Allegoria fragrances and the other one is Mandarin Basilic Forte, which I really really love and I'll probably talk about that in another video uh, but this one here is Rosa Rosa so the bottle looks like that so it's the same design as the original Aqua Allegoria perfumes but then we have a gold sticker or plaque there and I believe these are re refillable if I'm not mistaken so let's see what this one smells like as I said, I don't really uh, know any of the notes for any of these, so let's see. Mm. <laughs> so definitely rose is the, the main note here. It smells like a fresh, sharp, strong rose scent. It has a nice brightness to it, so I'm thinking of sparkling roses. Very pleasant, very floral. Some sweetness, maybe some muskiness in here too. But yeah, this is a pleasant, easygoing, easy to wear, light and fresh, happy, happy rose scent. Now let's see what it says in here. Majestically blooming sweet roses bathed in light, paired with a juicy white peach over a deliciously woody base. Yeah, I'm thinking of sparkling roses, very cold, fresh, crisp, sweet, delicate, and pink, pink roses. So yeah, I like that one. Rosa Rosa Forte. Now let's go with the next one here and this is from the house of Tom Ford Costa Azura and this is parfum version now they have a regular version I think it's EDP uh, but this is the uh, the parfum version so the bottle comes like that it's very bright and blingy I have tried the original Costa Azura and I remember liking it very much. So let's see what this one is. Mm. Okay, so when I'm smelling this, I'm already thinking that most people would probably consider this a more masculine kind of scent. It has a pepperiness to it. Like a a woody, peppery, kind of aquatic scent. But the pepperiness isn't really making me feel like I need to sneeze. Sometimes I smell peppery perfumes and I literally sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very nice, very nice woody, peppery, aquatic, marine perfume, marine-ish. Maybe a little blue too, it makes me think of the ocean and the color blue so yeah I like it <laughs> yeah I'm not sure if I would wear this but I can picture this on women as well but more so for men I think but it's really nice really strong too so that's Tom Ford Costa Azura Parfum yeah I like it <laughs> at the end of the video I'll pick my favorite just based on my first impressions. All right, so the next one here is a scent from Parfums de Marly. It's called Haltain. 
and I believe this is actually marketed for men and the bottle looks like this nice uh, deep uh, a porous green color kind of like my shirt well it's greenish oh these things this thing's hanging out I hate these things <laughs> I usually cut them off but I didn't cut it off this time for today anyways so there is the bottle curious about this one Hmm. Okay, so imagery I'm getting with this is a well-dressed gentleman in a dark forest green suit and he has like a beard and mustache, but it's all very well kept. Handsome. Okay, so it's deep, rich, earthy. No idea what the notes are in here, but maybe some woods, patchouli. It also has a little bit of a pepperiness as well. Super strong, bold, woody, slightly peppery, dark, maybe patchouli. So let's see here what it says. Okay, Haltain is an original scent that evokes light and shadow, a contrasted journey of the senses. The fresh and herbal top notes quickly yield a warm and smooth sense of leather with a symphony of precious woods. Soft and rich, escorted by saffron, the praline accord is an ultra-modern spin on mythical oud wood, a bold fragrance for gentlemen of all generations. Now that I read that there, there is oud in here, I'm kind of getting that now as I smell it here. Woody, dark. I'm still smelling a lot of patchouli in here though. Some spice. Well, I said pepper, but this says uh, saffron. So nice. I probably wouldn't wear this myself, but yeah, it's nice. I like it too. Just not my style, at least for me. <laughs> Now let's move on to the next one. This is from the house of Guerlain and it's called Epice Exquis. Ex oh my gosh, I'm, I know I'm butchering that. I'm going to try though. Epice Exquis. <laughs> so this is new one and this one comes uh, like, like that. And there's a name for this collection. I forget what it was called. Now let's spray this on. So a piece, I think it means spices. And I'm gonna guess exqui or exqui. <laughs> uh, I, I'm gonna guess that's exquisite. So exquisite spices, that's my best guess. Okay, so woody, spicy. It has like this antique feeling to it. I'm thinking of like an antique wooden chest that's been stored up in the attic for many, many years. And it has this certain like strong woody scent to it. One that I think would be great for the fall and winter because it is quite heavy. Not a lot of sweetness coming from here. It's mostly, it's mostly a spicy wood scent. And think of the attic. Well, I'm thinking of the attic with all of those antique dressers and a chest. And then you open it up and it has like this dusty kind of feel. So I like it. For when I'm in the mood to not be wearing a sweet gourmand scent. I can picture myself wearing this one. Quite nice, uh, Epice Exqui. And last but not least, we have a new release from Killian. And this is Cologne, and it's K instead of a C. And it says, by Killian Shield of Protection, Eau de Parfum. And the bottle looks like that. I kind of think it's looking a bit blue. Is that a blue bottle? I can't make out if that's like a dark blue, but maybe I'm thinking that because this is blue. 
it's kind of like a dark bluish kind of bottle there so i haven't heard much about this scent yet but i am curious about it so uh killian cologne cologne with a k fresh bright herbal it's making me think of seven up a fizzy soda with ice in it and you fill it up and then you put like some like pine needles or a branch of pine with the needle sticking out and then like and then mixing it together that's what this one smells like to me very very transparent Maybe there's some vodka in the glass as well. So vodka, 7-Up, and some green woodsy scent that reminds me of pine trees. Easy to wear, nice for year-round, but I think this would be great uh, for hot weather, spring, summer. And I like this one too, I really do. Now, let's see what it says here. Green Mandarin, Rosemary, and Cedarwood. Okay, Green Mandarin. Okay. <laughs> now reading there's Green Mandarin, I am picturing um, an actual Green Mandarin. You know the, the peel? The outside skin of a Green Mandarin has like a, a sharp green tartness to it. Oh. I like it. <laughs> I would wear this. Uh, I would totally would wear this. Unisex for sure. Yeah. Okay. So those are my thoughts um, on these new releases. My favorite out of all of these, just based on this very first sniff and first impressions, would probably be the uh, the last one here, the Killian Cologne Shield of Protection, and also maybe second place. I'll go with the Costa Azura Parfum. Really nice scent as well. But honestly, I think they're all nice. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was my video. If you've, if you've tried uh, these perfumes, please let me know in the comments what you think of them. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, thank you again for tuning in today. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.